Illustrator is one application I enjoy so much when it comes to designing ceremony IVs. Switching from Caesar Graphics, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to design a simple, unique looking wedding IV. If you need the exercise file for this tutorial, simply make use of the link in the description section of this video. So, we're going to be using two applications to achieve this tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you how to convert JPEG or bitmap image to a vector object that you can use to create unique concepts on your ceremony IV. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this tutorial. So we're going to crop our image with Photoshop and convert it to a vector format in Illustrator. Okay, so I'm going to drag and here like so and I'm going to drag the leaf also here like so okay so I'm going to start with the rows and I'm going to select the pen tool so I'm going to fast forward this side of the tutorial okay What I'm going to do now is to convert my path to a marquee. So to do that, I'm going to hold on Control and hit Enter on my keyboard. All right, and I'm going to select the background layer where I have the rose image, and I'm going to hit Control J to cut the rose from the background. All right. So then I'm going to hide this layer and I'm going to create a new layer and this should be below the rose layer and I'm going to hold down control and backspace to fill that layer with the color of my background here. All right. This is my background and this is my purple here. So, um, so I'm, what I'm going to do now is to select the rose layer and hit control shift alt and E to stamp visible the layers. All right. So I'm going to go to the leaf um they are here and this time i'm not going to use the pen tool what i'm just going to do is to click on the um, rectangle marquee tool here and select select and mask to do this you should have um, the latest version of photoshop which is photoshop 2020 and i'm going to select the select subject button here so what of, what photoshop is going to do for me now is is going to automatically um, select the subject from the background. That's so I'm going to select the OK button. And now um, I have this. So if you look right here, you see we still have some um, part of the background here. So what I'm going to do is to select the refine edge brush tool here and I'm going to zoom in with Ctrl Space Bar and I'll reduce my brush size. I'm just going to gently take this in like so. So I'm going to check the contaminate colors box here. I'm going to leave every other settings the way they are and I'm going to select the OK button. All right, then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on the leaf layer and say convert to smart object. And I'm going to do the same thing again by right clicking on the layer again and select rasterize. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crop out this side of the leaf because uh, we're, uh, we're going to be having a uh, random placement of the leaf. All right, so I'm, going to ju I'm just going to crop this out with my polygonal lasso tool. So I'm gonna use control minus to zoom out. This should be here. So, all right, then I'm gonna hit control J. Now we have two layers now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to um, create a new layer. Layer, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make hide this. Select the very first. The control shift on and E to stamp visible of that layer, and I'm going to hide this and hide this again and make it visible. And I'm going to make the same move again by holding on control shift on and E illustrator now. And I'm going to create a new document. I need you all to try and invest in getting one of this, all right? Because uh, there are times where clients will ask you to come up with a custom 
um, card size. The best way to achieve getting the exact size of the card is to get this, all right? So today we are going to be using this um, card size to create a wedding ID. So I'm going to teach you guys how I make use of this, okay? So I mostly make use of um, centimeter and um, that is it up here. All right, so that's centimeter up here, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to position my ruler here, like so. All right, so the height of the card is 18 and for the width, so I have 13 as my width here, okay? And I'm going to change, I'm going to change my unit to centimeter and I'm going to use, my width is going to be um, 13 and my height is going to be 18. Select the create button. And I'll go back to Photoshop and select the rectangle marquee to draw a shape here. Like so, a rectangle marquee shape here. Like so, and I'm going to hit Ctrl C for PC users and Command C for the Mac users. All right. So, I'm going to go back to Illustrator and paste this. Scale this down. So, so, to scale that down, I use shift alt and i drag down all right remember to do that so you hold down shift and alt and then you drag down all right so i'm going to go back to photoshop again and i'm going to hide this make this visible then i'm going to draw another marquee shape here make the same move again command copy or control copy for pc users and i'm going to go back to illustrator and hit the control b or command b and drag there right and we'll zoom in right turn this here so now let's go back to photoshop again and make the same move on the rows document i'm going to draw a shape again ctrl c or command c and i'm open my users and i'm going to go back to illustrator and i'm going to press again zoom out with ctrl spacebar and drag out and I'm going to scale this down and here. All right. So then, what I'm going to do now is to go to under the image trace button here. Now, click on the drop down arrow and select six colors. All right. So, um, the story is going to uh, give you this prompt message. Just hit the OK button and wait for Illustrator to do its magic. All right. So then I'm going to make the same move on the leaves. So I'm going to scale it up. Go here, select six colors again. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to click on it and hit the expand button. All right, because hitting the expand button will give us the opportunity to change the color of the vector right now this is now a vector object not jpeg anymore or bitmap so then i'm going to go to object and select on group right now the reason why we're grouping this is to take out the white object around our subject all right so i'm going to select this now and right, then hit control g or command g Make the same move there. White. Upgrade again. Expire. So, alright, so then I'm going to group this. And I'm going to do the same thing by grouping this also. So, to group it, you use Ctrl G or PC Z or Command G or so I'm going to position this here and I'm going to put this here and I'm going to make a copy of this by holding down Alt and drag and position this somewhere around here like so. And another thing I'm going to do again is to just um, position this, hold on Alt and just rotate this so and just position this here and it will push this down like so and position it here and we can now group everything together so i'm going to use ctrl b 
to group it. I'm going to rotate this this way. Object, envelope this dot and select make work. And I'm going to select the flag option here and print down this down. Okay, so I'm going to select the OK uh, button. All right. So I'm going to go to object now and select expand so as to take out the warp effect from my subject here. All right. So if I rotate this now, you see we have this. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to start placing uh, objects. All right. So I'm going to position this somewhere around here like so. And I'll hold on alt and drag to make a copy of it and I'll scale this down to rotate this and even right click and select transform and select reflect and I'm going to leave the setting the way it is now make sure that vertical is checked and select the OK button all right then select this 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 here Position this somewhere around here, like so. And another thing I'm going to do again is to drag this down and I'm scale this down, just position it here. And I can do the same move again by putting this up here. Now I'm holding out Alt while I drag to make copy of the leaf. All right, so I'm going to rotate it this way. Um, so what I'm going to do now is to change the color of my rows, all right? Because there are times where, you know, client to say um, there's a particular shade of color that we are looking at for the IV. So to do that, to change the color of your rows, um, shift select the two rows here like so. And I'm going to go to edit, edit color and select um, the color with preset and select color harmony. All right, so on the color harmony here, I'm going to change this to four colors. All right, so under the um, this is this darker part of the color serves as the shadow of the rose. All right, so I'm since I'm looking at making this um, um, pink, I'm going to position this here, and this will come out here, and this will go in here a bit like so. Let's push this here. So, here like so. So, uh, for this, which is the second color, select this, move this here, this here, this here. So, right now, for this color here, I'm going to make the same move again. This should be here, here, this should be here. Okay, for this last one, same move again to so here, so here, here, so I think this is okay for me, and I'm gonna select the okay button here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is to uh, mask the Objects, all right. So to do that, I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the rows layer, and I'm gonna draw 
a rectangle shape with my rectangle tool here, like so. So I'm going to drop that here, like so. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on my selection tool. Then I'm going to select all the objects and hit Control 7 for PC users or Command 7 for Mac users. All right. So if I hit Control 7 now, you see that the objects are now clipped inside the shape all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a new layer but this time i'm going to lock this layer and i'm going to draw a shape right draw a shape here like so okay and i'm going to scale this down so right scale this down so and the color for this shape is going to be the color of my rose here all right and i'm going to reduce the brightness all right i'm going to increase the brightness excuse me of my shape here and i'm going to select the ok button and i'm going to go to the to the align tab here so if you can't find the align align tab simply go to windows and select align here all right so i want this to align to the center of my artboard so i'm going to click i'm going to make sure that this is set to align to artboard here and i'm going to click on this button here and click on this button and now my object is now at the center of my artboard all right so um to edit the position of your uh object here what you need to do is to remove the padlock from the layer and then double click on the objects to go inside the, um, the clip um, group and I'm going to position this here and double click outside the artboard to go out of the clip group. So then um, I'm going to add my text now. So then I'll go to where I have it saved. All right. And copy this, which is the name and on here and I'm going to paste Alright. I'll advise you to put your text on a separate layer, alright? So I'm gonna create a new layer now and I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the text object, which is the name, and I'm gonna drag this red dot here and drop here to place it on my new um layer. So then I'm gonna lock every other layer here because locking your layers will save you the stress of moving it by mistake. So then I'm gonna make this bigger and I'm gonna change my font style to so right now this is one um easy font you can get free online all right so uh, i'm gonna position this here and i'm gonna hold on alt and drag to make a copy and put the name of the dude here into control b and this should be here like so maybe we'll make the two names bigger so and Okay, so then I'm gonna lock the layer. There's another there's one other thing I would have to do here. 
So I'm going to create um, a new layer again, and I'm going to call this particles, right? All right, then I'm going to draw a shape with my ellipse to here, just tiny shape here. Okay, and I'll go to my color tab here and pick this orange color here. Okay, Let's see what we have. It's not visible, so we need to move these above all the layers. Right now, this is good. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the symbol tab here. This is symbols here, right? Now, if you can't find this tab here, simply go to Windows and then look for symbol here, okay? Then I'm going to make sure, make sure you're on the object that you just drew, all right? So I'm going to, then you now need to, then you need to click on the new symbol icon here and call this, I'll just call it part, all right? Just set time, I'm going to select the OK um, button. Then I'm going to go straight to my symbol spray here and I'm going to zoom out. Okay. I'm going to click here, click here, click, click, click. Right, then I'll go back to my symbol spray to here and select the symbol size two. All right, then now the whole idea of having this is to randomly change the size of the um, the particles. All right, so uh, what I'm so the, the, what I'm what I'm trying to achieve here is to randomly change the size to smaller sizes. All right, so I'm going to hold on Alt and I'm going to click. All right, and now if I click, you see, I'm going to reduce my brush size with my open square bracket. So I'm going to hold down Alt and just click to randomly change the size of my particles. So, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Same thing here. All right. You can even go as far as adding more particles. So I can just click here and just click again. Oops, don't let it touch the leaves, okay? So you can just click here, 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 here. So, then I'll go back again and select the symbol size of this. Alt. So if you want it bigger, you can take your hand off your Alt key and just click on the dots or the particles to make it bigger, right? So I'm going to make this bigger again and then uh, make this one bigger. And um, so uh, the last thing we're going to do here again is to draw a rectangle shape here. So I'm going to make sure that on the rectangle to here and I'm going to draw a shape. Here like so, right? Then I'm gonna select the object, and I'll hit Control Seven for PC users or Command Seven for Mac users. So we have our wedding IB ready. So if you want to save this for print, simply uh, go to File and select Save As, and on the Save As dialog window, change this to Adobe PDF and change the document name to your preferred name and hit the save button all right so then you have this pop-up window and then you come here and change this to press quality all right and then you select the save button and then you are good to go i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video and i'll see you again in the next one peace